Hi, and this video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a print server on Windows servers. A print server is a server that connects printers to the network. It's a single source of printing for all the workstations in a network. It helps to share a specific printer or multiple printers with users on the network. A print, uh, a print server is used within a business network to streamline printing resources and can also be used to cut costs. Just imagine the cost that will be expended if a separate printer is deployed for each workstation in a network. It's going to be a huge one for that matter. It has provide a way to manage and control printing operations in a network and is what every organization should explore today. So, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can set this printer server up on your Windows server. So, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring up my server. So, this is my server here. So, um, I'm going to bring up the server manager. So this is the server manager, then I will go to manage. So under manage, you see add rows. Click on add rows. So the next thing is uh, click next. Then you select row based or official based installation. We have two options there, just select the, this first one. Then click next. Then under this uh, server selection, in case you have uh, multiple servers, it's going to display here. Then you can now make your selection which one you want to um, um, install the print server on. So I currently it's currently showing one for me. So I'm going to click next. So on this server rows, you will see look for print and document services this is it here just click on it then you add features click on hard features then you click next so under these um, features we don't need anything here so just click next click next then select print server Make sure you select print server then click next uh, click install the installation will start so you have to wait briefly for the installation to complete so let's so the installation has completed so that's why it's showing installation succeeded so we are going to close this now so nearly you close it you will see the print services menu it will show on the dashboard here so let's click on it so this is showing that our print server printer server have been installed on this server so now we are going to do other further configuration now so after seeing this print services menu uh just go to the tools menu at the top top here at your right hand side then you need to scroll down to look for print management it's up So then you look for print management this print management so click on it so on this print management you see your server then you see printers if you click on printers then you get to see some of the default printer and um, another thing is uh, in case you want to add further printer to this so what you just have to do is um, this is your server click on your server right click it then you will see hard printers 
hard printers just click on hard printer then on this uh, printer installation uh, wizard you get to see search network for printers add a tcp or web services printer by ip address or host name then add a new printer using existing port create a new port create a new port and add a new printer so it depends on what how you want to add your printer so if you select this then you click next it's going to search your network for any available printer that is attached to your network then you you able to add it so if you select this add a tcp ip you click next then you will need to supply host name or ip address here you need to uh, let's say you know the ip of the printer then you have to put it here then the port name so as you are entering your IP to also supply to also use the IP as the port name. So and uh, once you had this, you won't be able to make use of that that same port again. So um, type of device you can select auto or you click uh, TCP. So once you if you select auto detect it will also search for that particular printer with that IP on the network. So, and um, let me... Time is angry. I think it's still... Okay. So, if you supply your IP, and you click next, let me so if you are not doing auto detect let's say you select tcp ip you click next it will also try and detect the ip for you so let's wait briefly let's see what the response will be then we'll continue so sometimes after making your making doing the search the server may not see the printer so it's possible that the device is turned on the network is uh, you need to confirm if the network is connected if the device is properly configured then also the address on the previous page is correct that's the ip you need to confirm that so once you see this so those are the steps that you need to take to to confirm then um let me let's click next so if um the server was able to see your um printer is going to search for the driver to use so now this page is showing uh, install a new driver or you can select use an existing printer driver on the computer so you can as well select this and um, make use of it or you install a new driver so once you click this just click next then you will see different manufacturer here so it depends on the on the type of printer you are using the maker the manufacturer is it Dell? is it uh samsung toshiba zero so uh immediately you select the man manufacturer here then you'll be able to see different uh, drivers at the right hand side here so if you are unable to get the driver then you can click on have this here then you can browse to where you have your where you have the driver you may you might have downloaded it and um, save it on your system or you have the cd for the driver so just for you to um, browse to where the driver is on your system and you are good to go then you'll be able to install the driver for that printer 
and you'll be able to make use of it so once that is done then your printer will be ready for use so let us assume um, our printer is there and the printer name or the um, the type is um, Dell 1135N Lisa MFP. So let's select this. So click next. So here yeah, on this um, installation wizard page, you can um, give the printer a name. You can change this name or you can leave it. Then you select share this printer, select this box. Then the share name, what they are going to see on the network, this is the share name. So you, are, you can leave this default or you give it a share name. Then you click next. Click next. So once that's done, you see this page here. Driver installation succeeded. Printer installation succeeded. Your printer has been installed successfully. So you can try print test page. And if you want to add uh, another printer, you can also select this and you click finish. So once that is done, you get to see your printer here. This is what we just, this one that we just had, a laser MFP. This is it here. So, and your printer is ready to be used on the network. So this is just the step to um, configure your print server to set up a print server on windows server so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching